Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator at Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap for you. I had to get into this recap really quick because I'm in a couple of really good positions right now, and I really wanted to show, you, show them to you guys and um, you know, talk about what I'm doing here. So I want to talk to you specifically about how to trade a proper news catalyst. Today we have a very, very interesting news catalyst today. We have a new variant of COVID. Has, uh, it looks like it's going to be coming out of uh, potentially South Africa, um, so, which is making the, uh, the market a little nervous. Um, so coming into being at Black Friday, day before the holidays, and all these other things, the market has just really had enough of it and had to sell. So the thing I want to talk to you about is how to play a proper catalyst, okay? So if you look at my screen right now, you can see that I'm trading SPXL. Now SPXL is a leveraged ETF, right? So it trades with the SPY, but it trade, it's leveraged, so it moves a little bit faster. Right, so I've got my leverage trade on SPXL. Why am I trading SPXL? Well, I'm doing that because the SPY, because of the market conditions today, as we were calling in our chat room, had a little bit of a squeeze at the morning as a rally and then rolled over and shorted. So I'm gonna short SPXL and I'm gonna do it with the SPY once it rolls over. So I got a really nice short going on that. Now also, I'm trading MRNA. Because it's COVID news, mRNA, Moderna, is a one of the major vaccine companies and is really arguably one of the betters, right? So mRNA, because of the news um, of a new potential COVID variant, obviously mRNA is going to now go into catalyst. So we have the entire market starting to sell off on the news of this COVID, plus holiday, plus other um, things. And then you have a few stocks, mostly pharma stocks, in that sector right, that are now rallying because of that. So what I've done is put myself in a beautiful position, right, of being short the SPY, or SPXL in this instance, and being long mRNA. I went long mRNA when we broke above pre-market high and I saw buying come in on the tape. I just used the loss of the moving averages here. So you're talking like 318. Um, we did back test pretty close, but didn't get to me. And we ran off and got beautiful partials on this thing as it's been running. Still holding a little bit of this position in case it trends. And then again, SPXL. SPY may rally off of this. We've already gapped down quite a bit. So I may, if we get back to the opening price, I'll probably cut the rest of the position. But otherwise, if we just stall here and go to make new lows, may add into this one. We do still have a bearish ladder in place to the downside. So I definitely think we could sell more. So this has been my recap for you. Um, nothing too serious today. Just wanted to show you guys a mentality to think of. If when you get these market conditions that are really volatile, a way you can take advantage of it. If the market is selling off, I like to play an ETF that's associated with the market because those aren't catalyst individuals for those stocks, right? So why not play the ETF? I can just play the market as it sells. And then I'll go into those one or two stocks like mRNA, Pfizer, or something like that, right? And then I'll load up into that long and then ride the squeeze with those as we get profit and buying rotating into those with the thought they're going to be worth more later while I get a little fun short on the market itself. So hope that was a good recap for everybody. If it was, please go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Like the channel, subscribe if you would, ring that bell. Hope everyone has a great day, has a great weekend, and as always, keep it green. Thanks. Thank you.